Hey, have you ever wondered about those pajama-like costumes you would see at conventions and meetups? Well, I did, so I made a video on it. Let's go. Hey guys, Kame Turtle here, and you're watching Turtle Time. As I said in my intro, I got real interested about those pajama-like costumes I would see at my local fur meets. And I thought, hmm, if I'm curious about this, maybe other people would be as well. I would see on YouTube how to make your own Kikirumi or opening a Kikirumi that I got from somewhere else, but not info on what they are. So obviously there's a niche for them, right? So here I am. Okay, first of all, Kikirumi or Kikus for short are pajama like costumes that originated in Japan, the land of the rising sun, and home of anime. Kigus can be anything from animal-like characters, just in general animals, copyrighted game or anime characters, or your original character. This later one is what we're going to be focusing on. I reached out to a few Kiku makers and one managed to get back to me. I want to give a big shout out to Pocket Wolf Suits who agreed to do a Q&A with me. Now this is not my first time doing a QA. and If you might remember I did one with FurryDakimara.com I'll link that one in the comments below. Be sure to check it out later. That being said Let's dive right into this, shall we? All right, so I asked them like three, four questions and they replied. Let's see what their answers are, shall we? Question number one. What is the difference between a Kiku and a onesie? Their answer is, it depends on the maker. For me, I differentiate the two by Kikus being big, Baggy, drop crotch, and having buttons down the front. While well, onesies are form fitting with a zipper or instead of buttons. Essentially, a onesie is any type of one piece garment or jumpsuit. So, a Kikurumi is technically a type of onesie. Kikurumi originated in Japan and are known for being big, baggy, and with a drop crotch. Well, that's very good information. Now we know a rough estimation on what's the difference between the two. Question number two. Why would someone want a Kiku of their character or a fan favorite character? Like Mario. Their answer is... In the furry community, a Kigu is very easy to put on and comfortable compared to a fursuit, which make it too hot and uncomfortable and just in general being tiring to wear or put on. Though it's a good option when you want to dress as your personal character or fan favorite, depending on what you want but not go through the full effort of suiting up. Also a cheaper option than buying a fursuit for someone who may have a tight budget, but still wants to dress as their character. You may not know this, but fursuits are well known to go anywhere from a mere couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. I think the YouTuber Odin Wolf did a video on some of the most expensive fursuits ever. Linked in the cards above and description below. You're welcome Odin for the extra traffic. Be sure to check it out in a bit. Add my video. Watch my video first. Additionally, fursuits typically run the gamut of taking two or three minutes to put on 
all the way up to half an hour depending on how complicated your suit is. For example, just slipping on a fursuit head might take you a minute or two just to get it all set up and angled right. While going for a full quarterped suit or while you're walking on all four limbs could take you an hour or more to suit up. And that is with help. Oh, here's some more information. Kikus are also very popular outside of the furry community, particularly in the anime community. Whereas mass-produced cute animals and sometimes characters from shows dominates the market in anime communities. It's part of this love for Japan and Japanese culture slash pop culture that's popular at anime conventions since the Kikurumi originated from and is very popular in Japan. You might see people in Japan running around in these oversized pajamas. I think the singer Megan Taylor did a video where she dressed up in a giraffe Kikurumi. I'm not really sure. But I think it's out there. Question number three for them. Why did you decide to make Kikus? Their answer is, I started making Kikus because there weren't any custom Kiku makers at the time that I was aware of. And I wanted a custom Kikurumi of my persona. After that, I just continued making them, though he saw a need in a market and went for it. Oh, I'm not 100% sure or their gender pronouns, so I'm just calling him a he because that's my go-to. If I get it wrong. Alright, so Kikus are essentially just big baggy PJs. That can be street it wear and can be used to represent your favorite characters, some of your favorite animals, or even your personal character. I'd love to see a comic get a uh, Kiku of his own. What do you think? Should I do one? Let me know in the comments below. But speaking of comments, if you like what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share this with friends, family, co-workers. I honestly do not care. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time. Johnny.